Greetings. Yesterday on the radio I heard that the British government has passed the point where it has borrowed uh, more than a trillion pounds. Now I'm not an economist but um, I have certain questions, things I'm not sure about, things I would like to be able to understand better about the economy and how these things work. Um, one trillion, that's a heck of a large amount of money. Trillion pounds, that would probably be a million, a trillion and a half dollars. A trillion is one with twelve zeros, or a thousand billion, or a million million. Huge amount of money, which if it was spread over the UK population would be something like £16,000 per person and if you spread it over the people who are of a working age and putting money back into the tax system it's probably closer to £50,000 per person. Um, I'm just curious to know, because it's not talked about that much on the news, um, who has this money been borrowed from? And I know it's partly the banks, but do these banks, literally, are they out of pocket by one trillion pounds, or has that one trillion accumulated? There's a wee bit of thunder there. Has that accumulated by um, accrued interest? Whoa! Had my finger on the zoom button there. Oh no, it's an airplane. So, I'll leave you with those thoughts for now, and I'll probably add more to this later on as it occurs to me. Also, um, on the radio yesterday, the, on the Jeremy Vine programme on Radio 2, um, they were sort of chucking around the idea about uh, zero growth. Now, something we are fed all the time is that uh, growth is a good thing, or the growth of the economy is a good thing. And I've long made the point that, uh, you know, how can we continue to have growth in uh, a finite world with finite resources? And I was pleased to hear that a lot of other people phoning into this particular radio program were saying exactly the same thing. In fact, the majority would, were saying things which I would agree with. So, in a way, that's kind of heartening to know that uh, I'm not such a, a weirdo after all with strange, strange ideas. But, uh, interesting nonetheless. This, by the way, is a Scots pine tree and uh, I'm still incapable of editing any of my videos, so I'm just shooting stuff, more or less randomly. This has nothing to do with the economy, but uh, something relatively interesting to look at. So, now that we have this one trillion pound public deficit, or debt, or whatever you want to call it. Um, what would happen if that debt was just cancelled? Who would be impoverished? Would anyone be impoverished? Or has the whole debt thing just spiralled out of control over a long period of time, and uh, has got to the point where it is now? I mean, the thing is, uh, it's, you know, assuming we have to pay all of this back, um, when I say we, we are living in a democracy and the elected politicians are technically uh, our servants, public servants. So I'm just curious to ponder, to speculate about uh, what would happen if there were no debt anymore. How would that be a positive thing? Would anyone actually be impoverished because of it?
please comment below if you have anything you'd like to say or if you'd like to point out how ignorant I am when it comes to the subject of economics. We'll see you later. Bye for now. I thought I was done before, but there's a couple of things I forgot to say. A couple of things I'd like to mention. One is the question of who owns the banks. Um, ultimately, who does the money belong to? And that brings me to the other question of what is money? Um, how useful is it as a means of redistributing the wealth, the assets, the resources that humanity has at its disposal? I'm sure that there are better ways of, and f when I say better, I mean fairer ways of organising society, but the way things are at the moment with uh, money, capitalism, the economy, the financial world being so important in the eyes of the majority of people, um, it's just, uh, it just seems a little bit odd to me, but uh, that's probably because I'm an odd person. Anyway, I think I am going to finish this time, and I've also got another idea about how I might be able to do a little bit of editing without editing software. You can um, edit videos on YouTube with the YouTube video editor and using my old laptop I can get sound so I might be able to sort something out with that. So I'm gonna have a go at that later. Anyway, bye for now.